All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do axiometry camera tracking with the vibe, but the regular old way, which is just putting the live feed over the Unreal image, not using a billboard. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go up to Common, Compounds, no, Common Studio, Compounds, uh, Track Cam Unreal, and take not the billboard one, the other one, like so. And then we can save this as uh, Axiometry Non Billboard in on the desktop. Yes. Uh, and then you go to uh, Common Studio, Unreal Assets, and choose the virtual cam, open file location. Copy that one, bam. Go to you, your uh, project and content and paste it in there. And then you go and replace the original camera with the virtual camera. Like so. Save all and cook content. Then save. Uh, you should be able to drag your project in. Perfect. And then you have to connect some stuffs here. Uh, what you want to do is the cam transform, cam FOV, and focus. Let's control click. Let, yes, we have image. Drag that one to render, and the other one to to the side preview. Alt, and then we have to go to input, input one, and then we need to select our input camera, which is I think it's the two one, and also select the correct uh, camera mode. And there we have a camera. So. Uh, we also need to track this. So go to tracking device, mapped, and choose the correct vibe tracker. I think this is the correct one. Let's see what happens now. Ta da! Check that out. Tracking mode, don't need to do that. So uh, you notice that it's kind of weird. First, let's have a look at the keyed image, which looks not half decent, but let's do a pretty fast key over here. Select some color and choose matte again. Just I have some problems with the key, but let's use it for, for now. Choose final, final. And you can see it's chopped off. That's because Eximeter has this great studio feature. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to set that up. Well, right now, to so go to Studio. Now you see it's kind of like a studio environment here. Uh, and you need to match this. It's not, need, it doesn't need to be perfect, but it helps to mask out just the green screen. So uh, I guess the green floor needs to be prolonged. And we need the left green going down a bit and the green left going over there. Let's do this correct, like that. Can you pan around a bit? Do we have tracking? Yes, we do have tracking. Amazing. So can you pan around to me? So that's cool. Uh, here you can see the studio. Uh, and we need to uh, align the studio. So maybe rotate it a bit like that. Prolong the floor and the green left, like that. And you can pan back now, I guess. So there we are. And if you pan quick to the left and quick to the right, you can see it's not following. Uh, it's a delay or somewhere. And that's because the camera comes in much slower than the tracking data. So you need to delay the tracking data. And I just pull this one 
TLSC. Let's overdo it. Now you see the tracking data. It's, it's just a matter of fine tuning it in. I think it's around somewhere here. That feels pretty solid. You can always do better. And then you go, so the two variables, the manual zoom, which is pretty much the lens and the tracking delay. Uh, so if you move the camera around, like you're doing a real camera shot, I just tune this until I think it looks good. You can always be more precise, you can measure it, but I notice I'm much quicker by doing it like this. And this is where you spend your time trying to get this correct. And one more important thing is the offset, because the vibe is above the camera, so you have to offset it a bit from the uh, from the entrance pupil, uh, which this is something you can mess with a lot. But uh, so these are the parameters you mess with it here. Uh, like the rotation, the position, and whatnot. Uh, but I noticed that this is not nearly perfect, but but these are the settings that you that you use. To fine tune. If you move faster, to the, a little more faster, to, yeah. So this is just a matter of going back and forth, trying to fix this. Oh yeah, you have to put manual lens in as well. To try to get a little drift as possible. Uh, so you have to go around using these elements, uh, these positions and rotations. So if you uh, move around a bit, you see that this feels really off on purpose. So this is what I spend my day doing, just trying to calibrate stuff, both timing-wise and uh, position-wise. Yeah, so you can do this for hours, but and sometimes uh, you need to. Uh, for example, you may be higher up on some scenes, then you can just position the whole scene and rotate it with the scene compound here. Going like this, and maybe move a bit over here. So that 
these are the par parameters, man uh, the malassume, tracking delay, and the origin. The origin is pretty much, so now, now we can see it's really messed up, but you need to find the small parameters that are correct to get everything aligned correctly. Yeah, so that's just a matter of tweaking these parameters, and uh, then you're good to go. Good, good to go. Uh, of course, you can also add, you know, lens distortion or whatnot. But I haven't been uh, uh, haven't been figuring that out so much. But there's some stuff you can do. Uh, maybe do a tutorial on that later on. Uh, it's most noticeable along the lines of the borders of the camera, but uh, maybe that's something uh, is worth a tutorial as well. Uh, but this is just a quick show of how I do stuff and tweak stuff. So now you have the same knowledge as me as tweaking stuff. And it's just a matter of persistence and uh, taste, I guess. Thank you, Yo Kim. No problem. So let me know what you need more help with. Cheerio.